Hello, Yu-Gi-Oh! players, and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Business Casual. I'm your host, the RJB0 sign language. Anyway, today I'm going to be giving one deck the very, very, very special honor of being named Business Casual Deck of the Format. Yes, last format, Dragon Rulers received this honor. Yes, yes, Dragon Rulers. You, the ones you guys are thinking of. Everybody's minds were like... <laughs> brains all over the walls and such. But yes, in Yu-Gi-Oh! we have this strange notion that no matter how fun the top tier decks are to play, um, it is the worst deck of the format and they have to find some reason to hate on it, even if it is just spectacularly fun to play. We're hipsters like that. But every format I name the deck that I think embodies the philosophy of business casual Yu-Gi-Oh! the best. And last format, that just happened to be Dragon Roars. This format, I'm going to be talking about a deck that has been steadily swimming through the top tables. You might even say it's made a splash in the meta. Yes, today I am naming Mermel, Atlantean, Water, whatever the heck you want to call it, the business casual deck of the format. And people are like, what the heck? Well, we all know how much the deck means business. Um, it has seen top table play and top tier play, and it's been in the top cuts of basically every tournament that's happened since January 1st. I don't know how people didn't, like, really catch on to the hype about this deck. Well, until we saw Patrick Hoban wreck some Fire Fist ass with this deck on last Sunday? Yes, at Charlotte. Um, so we all know that the deck means business and that it is definitely a formidable force, but casual fun, the most fun competitive deck of the format, really, guys? Well, Mermails basically have the trifecta of business casual fun, which is they are combalicious, versatile, and customizable. So I'm going to outline how it embodies those three characteristics. I know Patrick Hoban has his basic... his special three characteristics of the best deck of the format. Well, these are the special characteristics of the most fun deck of the format. So first, let's talk about how it is Combolicious. Well, Combolicious basically means that if you look at a hand, you've got like 10 different combos you could possibly make with it. Um, or no, I mean, that's a, a, a little bit of exaggeration. Just a little bit. But, you know, when you look at a card in a Mermail deck and you combine it with another card, you've got at least two or three options uh, for what you can do with those two cards, how you can accomplish a play with those two cards. And having those options, having those big plays that you can make, and just tons of plays uh, like that is really fun, because you like to be able to uh, be creative with your plays and make something crazy and wild and just come up with um, total bullshit plays out of the middle of nowhere. So that is that is why Mermails embody the idea of um, comboliciousness. You can combine any two cards to make some wild combination. I mean, not any two cards, but you guys get the idea. You can go, um, whether it's the Megalo OTK with D.Va, or the um, Pike Turge Flip, or the d Double Dracosac, or not the Double Dracosac, the, um, the, 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 the Double Shark uh, engineer play with Oshia. You know, mermails just have tons of combos out there. And the second factor being fun is versatility. Um, this deck can basically do anything short of fusion and ritual summoning. They exceed, they special summon, they pop stuff, they hit the control and aggro part of the game real hard. Um, and really there's something in there for anybody. If you really like synchros, there are mermail plays for you. If you really like Xyz plays, there are mermails for you. If you absolutely hate both of them, you can go through entire games of mermail matches without seeing your extra deck at all and still be able to win. They've just got tons of versatility in the style of plays that they can make. They can go for Swarm, they can play conservatively and just simplify the game state a ton. There are just tons of ways that you can play any given Mermail deck. And speaking of any given Mermail deck, let's talk about customizability? Customize how it custom... Anyway, how the deck is customizable. Well, they're roughly, this is a very rough estimate, they're roughly half a dick zillion ways that you can make this deck. Because this deck is so versatile, you can focus more on one or the other of these many plays or styles that the deck can embody. You can go for the 
um, version with Osha and the Aqua Spirits to focus on the Engineer Bahamut Shark play for a more uh, controlsy style um, play. You can go for the hardcore aggro mono mermail style uh, plays that Patrick Hoban did. I've seen successful mermail decks that focus specifically around utilizing the Atlanteans. Uh, and they ran triple salvage, you can run one salvage, you can run two salvage, you can not run salvage, you can not run spells, you can not run traps, I mean, except for Abyss Sphere, you have to run Abyss Sphere. But no matter what your play style is, unless it's stun, in which case I can't really help you, there is probably a Mermail variant that works for you. So while I personally have not been able to play the deck myself, in, in real life at least. I've played it a ton online ever since, like, Megalo was announced. This was before Sphere even existed. I love this deck. Um, I cannot play it in real life, mostly because I live in Vancouver, Washington, where nobody knows how to trade cards, but I highly encourage you guys, you've got a month and a half left to play this deck before it gets the Banhammer, which it absolutely will. Do not get uh, complacent about this deck since it hasn't really been hit for a couple of formats. No, it is going to get hit, but I encourage you guys to play it for the month and a half left that you have. So that is the business casual deck of the format, Mermails. I highly encourage you guys to go out and try it if you have not already. Meanwhile, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, let me know why in the comment section below. And then, of course, subscribe for more decks discussion analysis and generally Yu-Gi-Oh! shenanigans. Meanwhile, thank you guys for watching Yu-Gi-Oh! and Business Casual. I am your host, the RJB Zero, and I gotta jet. See you guys.